10 fragrances that rich people hate. Number 10, Rasasi Havas. Yes, rich people hate this fragrance. Why? Because they like the name Paco Rabanne. They like the designer name. It might be a libido thing. And also, if you were to smell them, this kind of smells better, but it doesn't perform as well. I've gotten more compliments with Pacaban Invictus Aqua than this Rasasi Hawaz Beast Mode on a budget fragrance. Comment down below which one you've gotten more compliments on. I know I'm striking on an accord, but let's see what you're gonna say. The next fragrance rich people hate is this one right here. It's called Dunhill Driven. It's $40 to $50. Why do they hate it? Because they much rather spend $300 on Parfums de Marley Sedley. Now this has juniper berries in it. It also has clary sage. Clary sage can replicate the lavender that's in here. It also can replicate some of the notes that are in here. Put together, smell like the middle notes of here, the abdalinum that's in here, and the piney notes that are in here. If the juniper berry also has some pine. They both have bergamot, they both have like this woody finish. This one has patchouli, this one has pepper. It's a little bit darker, but it's like 85%. You can't tell the difference from a regular nose. If you're a beginning buyer fragrance, either one of these is perfect. If you just started buying fragrances, either one of these is perfect to fresh, to smell fresh and unique. On a budget, you get this one. If you're a rich person snob, you get this one. Now, we're not gonna call people any names in this video. And the word snob, like fragrance snob, comment down below what you think about that. Fragrance snobbery can also mean fragrance expert or fragrance enthusiast. Back when I used to work at a fragrance store, I would only wear Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mail, the old one before Ultra Mail came out, and we would sell one that was called Blue for Men. Does anybody remember that? Looked just like it, the torso, and everyone, like, they would, they would probably make $50,000 a year just off that one item replica. Now, there's different reasons for the next fragrance is this Creed Aventus. I was just at a rich dude's salon and he says, I, I can't afford, the guy is rich and he says, I can't afford Creed Aventus. And I said, why don't you just buy this Club de Nuit Intense? It smells just like it. No, I don't buy fakes. That was his word. Is this a fake, everybody? Or is this a fake, this Club de Nuit? Comment that down below. But he refuses to wear this. Even if he smelled it next to each other, he would rather save his money for three, four months and buy Creed Aventus than buy this for 30 bucks. That's how people are. And in my last video, I compared these two, actually these two, Mont Blanc versus Club de Nuit Intense. And everyone picked this. Personally, I'm kind of like a designer boy. Maybe I'm a snub and I pick this. I go to hot yoga sometimes. The next fragrance are just really good designer, affordable fragrances that now, like the fragrance company, is dropping off their line because they're not so wanted. They're only wanted in our community. Wanted by night is what I'm talking about. Oh my God, it's almost empty. Well, this is what the box looks like. If you can find Wanted by Night, you should grab it. It's an excellent fragrance that is very well worth the 80 to 100 that they're asking for it now. Who knows, but right now it's kind of hard to get. And fragrance snobberies, fragrance people don't like it for one reason, synthetics or another, but actually it smells good, it works good, it lasts long. Before it was like $40 and massive compliment getter Eros. The name itself, the fragrance enthusiast will tell you, I don't like Versace Eros. It's too sweet. It's a clubbing fragrance. I don't go clubbing. That is not true. If you put, put this in a different bottle, it's a beautiful vanilla mint fragrance that's comparable to very many niche fragrances and still on a budget and they have different concentrations. Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum, and Pure Parfum. It doesn't matter which one you get. They're all good. Versace Eros. Coming up next, we have it's called Bentley for Men Intense. Why don't uh, rich people want to buy this? Because it's around $30 to $40 for this fragrance. If you're a beginner to fragrances, this is a fragrance that could be bottled up and sold for $200. If you're a beginner to fragrances, I recommend you not to buy this because it smells like it will piss your wife off. Because you're brand new to fragrances and you're used to Armani's and Paco Rabanne's and Versace's. Don't buy this fragrance, okay? But if you are wanting to experience a little bit out of your comfort zone, maybe you'll get this. It's like rum, tobacco, and brute force that lasts eight hours. 
Very bold, very masculine. Next fragrance is also called Bentley. It's called Black Absolute, made by Michel Almarain. He also made Gucci Perome in 2003. This was made in 2007. The Gucci Perome fell off market of masterpiece fragrance, and I guess he got hired and he made the same thing and bottled it in here for $40. The other one's a thousand bucks. It's in a museum. Gucci Perome, look it up. And this is the same thing, made by the same perfumer. The next fragrance that was made by Bentley is called La Lique Ancre Noir. Another fragrance that's dirt cheap. What a rich person doesn't want to spend $30 or $40. They want to spend $150 minimum. That's cheap for them. I just talked to this guy at a salon, like I told you, and he would only spend $150 minimum. He says, I don't like cheap fragrances. Doesn't care what it is. If it's $30, it sucks. La, La Lique Ancre Noir, level two fragrance. Again, don't buy it if you're brand new to fragrances, but it's an expert fragrance. Niche quality bottled in like this bottle. Easily could be sold for 250. Now here is a question, it's the reverse. This is called Christian Dior Homme Intense. Now this fragrance is beautiful. I love this fragrance. I like to wear it in colder weather. I'd wear it in any weather. It's Definitely delicious. It, it exudes feelings right when you smell it. It's like you want to lick yourself and eat yourself. Definitely a woman would like this on date night. It's so ultra sexy, soft, and it develops later on into this beautiful chocolatey vanilla cacao style notes. But beginner fragrances and people watching these YouTube reviewers and they hype this saying number 10, number one fragrance, uh, date night, blah, blah, blah. Then they buy it and then they go, this sucks. Either they bought a fake one, because there are tons of fakes, make sure you got batch code numbers on the bottom to prove authenticity, or buy directly from Dior when you buy this. Who cares what the price is? It's a masterpiece. Either they bought a fake, or they're just not used to such a complex fragrance because they're used to blue, fresh style fragrance. The next fragrance, rich people would hate, and I've gotten these emails. Tom Ford Ombre Leather, everyone really actually loves it. Look at that bottle. It's a leather fragrance, it lasts all day long, and it's sexy. If you spray this right now, right next to it, it doesn't smell nothing like it. I've been telling everyone to buy Rare Carbon to smell like Ombre Leather. All you gotta do is wait three hours and it smells identical to it. Leathery, sweet, syrupy fragrance just like this, and you'll get compliments. Rare Carbon, 40, Ombre Leather, 200. The next fragrance, by the way, if you're one of these subscribers who just subscribed, comment down below. I'm going to send you something free. If you're one of these subscribers who just subscribed, comment down below. I'm going to send you something free. Shout out to everyone who's been commenting and following me. Peace. Hey, the next fragrance is called Maison Francis Cartagen Oud. And why do rich people hate this? Well, you're just going to have to watch this video to find out.